What's up, tea weirdos? It's your boy, Denny. It's your boy, James. Uh, episode 341. Yeah. We got some Li Shan uh, light roast. Light roasted competition right. raid. And this is from Tributary Teas, right. uh, who we brought on their greener Li Shan. Right. Not uh, so long ago. Not so long ago, yeah. Mm. It's always a good day for Taiwanese Ulam. Like, I always, always enjoy Taiwanese oolong. I really do. Okay. It's, it's hard to find a, a Taiwanese oolong that I'm not, that I think is bad. You heard that challenge there, folks. There are... Send us your world. <laughs> Actually, <Okay. laughs> please don't. <laughs> Refresh that. <laughs> so, I, I have had bad Taiwanese oolong. Yeah. Let's give Denny a bad day. Oh, it smells so nutty. Oh my God, it smells like peanuts. Mm. Yum. Anyway, that's the roast. Um, and yeah, you know, I just, you know, a, a good, decent quality, let's be particular, tell me if you want. Some of them have a little bit of a bad, like, kind of, um, some of them can taste overly grassy and verdant and, like, not well processed, basically. So those yeah. ones I don't like, but otherwise, yeah. Right. Color on these two. That's and for those of you that are less familiar with this genre, Lishan, uh, one of the mountains, really big mountain, there's a sort of range of elevations, mm -hmm. but it generally is quite high. Um, and generally speaking, higher means it's a little higher quality. Um, so uh, this would probably be considered a pretty um, sort of premium, premium tea. tea. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And the reason being that it's sort of like wine. The idea is the stress of the growing habitat itself can cause the leaves to grow slowly and grow and you and, and include certain like enzymes and chemicals and compounds that make them more resilient. Those also taste great. Right. <laughs> so we, we're sort of in the business in some sense of growing the hardest to grow plants that you can grow and growing them as slowly as possible right. and sort of throwing... Not recommended for children. Not uh, recommended for children. Not a good parenting but, style, but delicious for tea. Yes. So, um, we're 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 gonna have people coming at us. I know, dude. Our, CPS you know, is our gonna come and take our kids away. Yeah, yeah. We don't even have like, kids. No, yet. you need to treat them worse. <laughs> uh, yeah, we don't have kids. Uh, anyways, let's uh, let's drink <laughs> tea. Right. Cheers. Cheers. Pretty light to start. Yeah. I'm gonna push this yeah. just a little longer. Although the leaves are opening up quite a bit. Yep. Nutty, um, light. Yep. Comes pretty rolled. Um, leaves from how much we put in there. Pretty chunky, big leaves yeah. is my guess. Yeah, totally. Um, nice color too. Nice little bit of a dark right. roast on them. Nothing charcoal roasted though. We definitely taste the verdant character of this tea, certainly. Um, right. and I find that competition grade roasts usually mean pretty mid roasted. Never really seen a competition grade charcoal roasted Taiwanese oolong before. I'm yeah, sure they right. exist. No, yeah, no, and not. and we can see from here so that it uh, gets classified as a light roast on there. Right. So uh, kind of in line with our sort of expectations. Yes, yeah. and you can also do a blind test. Um, looking at the liqueur, the saturation of the color, and just give it a shot and see, oh, does this look like it's more of an orange and red and darker, or does it look more like a pale yellow, right. even green almost? Yeah, and this one definitely falls into that latter category. Yeah, much more so. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Just the aroma on this is so wonderful. Um, yeah. Mm. Yeah, definitely has those sort of uh, those nutty notes that Denny was picking up on just from smelling the dry leaf. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. Um, nothing very. No, the one thing that the sort of like light roast does it, it takes away that really greener edge to it. Mm -hmm. Um, so mm -hmm. for those that don't like that sort of profile, I think uh, mm -hmm. this one's nice in that sense. Yeah, totally. And what you mean by greener edge, James, would be. 
what characteristic or right. taste would you mean? So this one just isn't as verdant and as like sort of crisp, fresh scream, springtime as uh, as something that would be like a really um, an unroasted or a really uh, even lighter roast. Uh, right. High Mountain Tea it's would classic, be. A classic J.D. Right. Long. And so some of the ca- kind of more classic J.D. Long flavors that you'll – or tastes that you'll experience flavors um, as well – they're going to be kind of like that almost cut grass, um, verdant thing sometimes, sometimes vegetal even. Yep. Um, hay sometimes too. There's a little bit of some crossover with some, some green teas depending on how unprocessed the, and how green the, right. the oolong is. I mean, some of the oolongs are pretty darn close to green teas. Like yeah. the amount of oxidation could be like under 10%. Yeah. Right. right. Beautiful. Beautiful. Great residual flavor too. Sweet, really approachable. Mom test. Yeah, passes. Totally. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, maybe it's slightly less friendly than just the greenish version. The mo- greener, mm-hmm. the mm-hmm. more jade oolong, as mm-hmm. you put it. Um, but I don't know. They're kind of like they're both very friendly. Mm-hmm. I would say. Yeah. This one is a little bit more of a cozy feel, in my opinion. Right. Less. Uh, sharp and crisp and verdant, a little bit more cozy and mid-tone and um i almost think it would be more approachable for people who are used to some of those more cozy flavors right but still interested in something a little bit sweet and different right very sweet too maybe a good thanksgiving tea uh mm, yeah. season's coming up yeah very true who knows when this is gonna be released probably pretty pretty soon yeah happy thanksgiving yeah, well, <laughs> I, I think this will predate Thanksgiving, actually. So, yeah. yeah. Happy Thanksgiving to all the people out there who don't celebrate Thanksgiving. Yeah. We're grateful for Google you guys. Thanksgiving. Let the internet tell you what it is. <laughs> um, I'm getting in here again. Yeah. Third keeping? Uh, yep. And what about uh, sort of uh, a good hiking ultralight tea? Really good. Yeah. These are the kind of teas that just categorically... Kind of hit it out of the park. Yeah, hard to mess up. Yeah, exactly. I mean, yeah. it and big leaves. So when you're drinking it out of a cup with the leaves in there, you're not just like yeah. drinking <laughs> yeah. leaf slurry. Yeah, 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 you <laughs> le- drink and then it's just like <laughs> yeah, yeah, just covered. You're blinging in your teeth. Um, no, I mean, really easy to brew. Tastes great immediately. Doesn't get too. Um, you can overbrew this, of course, but you know, as long as you're drinking a reasonable amount of time, it should be fine. Yeah. Um, so and you can always just add some some water potentially if you really need to. Right. Um, yeah. Yeah, and if you're going out into maybe the colder, uh, going up high into the colder mountains, then I could see this being pretty darn perfect for just suiting that, just in its sort of like really, as you put it, cozy profile. Totally. Yeah, yeah. and it's. This flavor, this flavor profile of, of tea in general is just appealing to a lot of people. So it, we just get a lot of takers. Um, you know, I'll have a 750 ml titanium uh, pot and then throw the leaves in there and we uh, share germs and just pass her around. Motto be damned. And uh, <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's something that just for whatever reason people, it's so satisfying. It just tastes so perfect in that context. Yeah. Or something like a Rob Puer, It's really interesting, but I only have, like, one other friend who'd be like, oh, this is intriguing. Everyone else is just like, this tastes like shit. (laughs) (laughs) Like, like, oh, why are you into this? Like, this is expensive? Weird. Um, And so I think that raw puer is just a more... Right. Yeah. I mean, teas like this just have... They're just so approachable. I mean, there's a reason why this is, like, the gateway. This is, like... Well, you know, I, I, I'm not going to do that. I, I don't want to say that. You did. I don't, oh, don't want to perpetuate that. Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah. Don't start it on. Soon you'll be on to the heroin yeah. of tea. Speaking Rock of where? which, we're sponsored by the TDD <laughs> crossover episode where we mix uh, edibles with teas. Can of tea. <laughs> um, yeah. Can of tea. Episode one. Cut. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what, though? That's probably going to be a thing. Like, yeah. There's so many of those weird products out. It's yeah. Crazy. Did you know that on the internet, there are people that seriously believe we're stoned for a series of TDB episodes? Actually, I can 100% believe it based off of our <laughs> personas. Yeah. But fake news, guys. Fake news. It's fake news. Yeah. It's the media. It's the biased media. Yeah. 
Yeah, no, we're a bunch of goofballs. This is unfortunately how we operate in normal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I saw one of them, and they, like, screen captured, like, me going, like, <laughs> I'm like, that's just how I normally look, yeah, guys. Come I, on, it's just that ugly, everybody. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. Uh, this is amazing, yummy, yummy, yummy. Hard to hard to beat. Yeah, and a great beginner um, beginning tea also for a session. So right. that'll be what's going on today. Right, and also just a great compliment to the greener one. Um, so, Denny, how could someone find out more about tea? Yeah, check us out on tdb.org for more content. So um, James is a blog fiend and has published so many comparisons, tea comparisons, shop comparisons, brick comparisons, comparing comparisons. Um, check them out. Yeah. The, check There's out all the articles there. We have all the videos as well posted there too. Feel free to comment on the blog or down below on YouTube yeah. if you want. Subscribe to all that crap. Um, and for people who want to grab um, this, James... Tributary Teas. Google them. Do we know the URL? No. Google them. Google them. That's tributary, better way. Um, like the uh, water thing. Um, <laughs> and yeah. So, check them out. Can't say enough good things. Great to find good quality. Yep. Um, Absolutely. Too long, so, give them a shot. And uh, we're going to keep on drinking some tea. See you guys next time. Cheers.